आज आम गण में अच्छा डक्टर सुभाषिनी बारिक सी हेले एसोसीएट प्रफेसर अफ फिलोसफी डेली यूनिवर्सीटी आज आम गोटे खूब बहुत सुंदर विषय आलोचना करवा से टपिकटा है क्रिटिकल एनालीसि अफ द न्यू एजुकेशन पॉलिसी निश्चित भाव में मोर दर्शक बंधु मैंने से इंजय करेंगे बहुत उपाद विषय आम गोटे आलोचना करूँ आपणकर मन में जी कि सन्देह थी कि प्रश्न थी ये आलोचना पर आप निश्चित भाव में आप कि जापर तो वेलकम डॉक्टर सुभाषिनी बारिक टू दि स्टूडियो वी आर इंडेड फर्चुनेट टू हाव यू विथ अज इन द स्टूडियो एंड एज यू नो दि टपिक फर टुडे इज अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग टपिक क्रिटिकल एनालीसि अफ द न्यू एजुकेशन पॉलिसी नाउ दि फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज व्हाट वाज योर इमीडिएट रेस्पॉन्स आफ्टर गोइंग थ्रू द न्यू एजुकेशन पॉलिसी नमस्कार थैंक यू ऑल सो मच फॉर मेकिंग मी सो ऑनर्ड बाय इनवाइटिंग मी फॉर दिस इंटरव्यू ऑफ कोर्स न्यू एजुकेशन पॉलिसी व्हिच इज द नेशनल एजुकेशन पॉलिसी 2020 इज वेरी एनकरेजिंग बिकॉज इफ वी गो बाय द पॉलिसी डॉक्यूमेंट विल सी many kind of positive optimistic changes are promoted for making our society a uplifting one and also to relate our society with the outside world so it's very encouraging sir wonderful great uh, could you please highlight the major features of this new education policy because i'm sure Uh, the viewers will be very much interested to know the salient features you know uh, uh, would you please dilate on that yes if i uh, coming directly to national education policy 2020 it is of course it is highlighting the education overall education of the mass but the speciality the significance of this education policy is making a human educating system i mean by that we are promoting humanitarian education more than the previous one so that is the best significance of this education policy because we are promoting a kind of holistic education here and we are also promoting equitable and just society right this education policy will promoting the equitable education so that we are overcoming all kind of negativity which is sustaining which is existing in our society and we are going towards heading towards a very equal kind of just society with fairness which is also we are promoting universalness but because here we are also have our features for foreign education system so universal education is also being promoted and over i mean most importantly we are promoting enlightened indians at a global platform great so these are do very few because we cannot highlight all the things but to be very specific these are few very important aspect of the policy nep 2020 because in this platform in this policy we are promoting or building indian knowledge system which is most important we are also giving importance to regional languages which are being deprived earlier and we are also implementing multidisciplinarity during this education system alio we were accessing a specific education but right now we can though we are promoting we do, though we have three different kind of streams arts uh, humanity commerce and science but here like the foreign university we are promoting multidisciplinarity in this system also we are promoting the online and digitized education e learning modes are also being promoted by making moocs showing system which are uh, already available in a right. uh, education system so and and finally also we are promoting the quality research 
in this policy. Yeah, quality research is also absolutely yes, very important. Yes, yeah, definitely. Yes, which is required. Which is required. Absolutely. Uh, now, I would just like to ask you one thing. In your opinion, what do you think uh, this new education policy will benefit, be supportive to the students at large? Yes. I am talking of, you know, student at large, you know. I am not talking to a specific or type of students. And I am talking in general, you know, how it will benefit the students at large. See, if we look at the policy document, we could see the document is student friendly. Why? Because first of all, as I told you that it promotes multidisciplinarity, it promotes choice based education because as per the requirement of the student, as per the interest of the students, as per the uh, benefit of the student, a student can choose his option which one he will take care of and which one he is going to eliminate. So, it right. is a choice based education and in higher education we have multiple exit system also okay. because earlier in our higher education when we a student was pursuing plus 3 education, he after completing 3 years he was getting a bachelor's degree. So, he, uh, he is uh, getting a bachelor degree, but here right now, right now he is having a, after completion of first year a certificate is there, after completion of second year a advanced certificate is there and after completion of third year also he is getting a bachelor's degree. After getting because it is a four years graduation system, undergraduate system. So, after four years he is also getting an exit for a research degree towards the master's degree. So, they have every after completion of every one year he has a exit uh, system, exit as well as he can come back after doing whatever he wants to do, he can come back and join. So, it is very student friendly in that way. Uh, one thing you know which really comes to my mind and I thought I will put across is, you see uh, quite we say that uh, there is a, a system of dual degree. Like for example, you are pursuing, pursuing a particular area and you can go to another area also. So, you know uh, could you just uh, clear the cobwebs from our viewers because you know they are a little bit confused about this uh, dual degree. Uh, why don't you throw some light on that? See since your question is directly towards the dual degree on which we have so many discussions, arguments, debates are going everywhere mm -hmm. all over India. In that case, those who are getting education for, from foreign, foreign universities like uh, Oxford, Cambridge and many more, they are one person is doing science with philosophy. That means science as well as humanity, right. but in India so far till today we do not have a formal degree with a humanity subject as well as a science degree. It is not possible, but here if we are promoting, if we are going by the NEP 2020, then a student is having a scope of getting a science degree along with his choiceable subjects from humanity as well as from commerce also. Accounting one can do with a physics honors. A science student can pursue a chemistry honors student can have a degree with philosophy or psychology or sociology or statistics. So, I mean the knowledge will be exposed, the student is getting an exposure as well as getting a grounding to both in science to, and also in humanity. To, yes, to, to, to explore all kind of social upcomings, right, right. that is the thing. Now, when we talk of the new education policy, one thing you must have seen, like for example, you know words are there and there is another <laughs> alternative to words that is the spirit of the education policy. Now, let us discuss about the spirit of the education policy. Uh, how would you uh, tell our viewers about the spirit of the education policy, where it is directed towards? Sir, it is a 
very, very, very dynamic question I must say. Because when spirit is concerned with the motive of the policy maker, the spirit comes to the platform and then that spirit is converted into words which is the document in front of us. So, I think if I go by the spirit of the uh, policy makers, then it seems very encouraging. But the most important aspect is action, because unless and until the thought that is the spirit as you told me, the words what says what is uh, reflected in the policy document and the action how we are implementing it are balanced, then I think the motive will be maximized or we are getting fulfilled our motive. But if spirit and words are parallel, but action is under question mark, then the entire things are confusing, dilemmatic and under question mark. So, here the action plan we need to see, because under the hidden platform, what is the spirit? We are only going by the policy documents. Right. We are not looking for what is the spirit, because we genuinely take it for granted what the document says. If we are going by the document, then of course, I have my assumption for the Indian, the real Indians I must say, because in India also right now we have this is this year we are celebrating 75th years of our independence and still we are struggling with many grey areas of India, where people are being exploited. Even in Delhi, I am in Delhi, I know how people are being exploited corruptions are there, exploitations are there, but in rural India, poverty, lack of education, lack of access to many basic amenities is still there and people are struggling for their livelihood. We cannot just eliminate these aspects. So, do you so think, here, uh, you know, what you uh, very rightly here, said, do you think we will be able to, you know, narrow down this communication gap in some way or the other, to we, some extent at least? Sir, in this case, we need to take care of, I am not saying the policy document is very, very encouraging and definitely we are going to achieve a height if we are following the NEP, but we need to take care of the grey areas of India, right. because India is the rural India, Absolutely. India is known for village India, the country for villages. So, that but need to be well taken care of, that is my intention. Oh, great, great. Uh, now, one little thing, you know, I would just like to ask you, you know, uh, when they are, you know, talking about the new educational policy, you must have seen, you know, a lot of things have come into the picture. Do you think, you know, they are following some particular, you know, education policies, you know, pertaining to the West and trying to implement uh, in uh, or execute in India? Do you think something of uh, that is going on? See, if we here I said, since from the beginning I said that we are not only confining to India, rather we are exposing ourselves to the world. We are making a, making a stand at global platform by following NEP. But for that, we have to be accessible as per the foreign requirement. So, foreign whatever the foreign systems are there, we need to that is the reason we are making the structural change, so that we can invite the foreign uh, universities to come to India and our students to have to, uh, to access the foreign education at India even, that is the reason in a way we are following that, that is nothing wrong in it, but how much student 
can have that access how much student can avail that yeah that's a big question yeah that's that a big is question. a question that is a question it depends on the implementation that is what i uh, am stressing on because implementation has to be very very uh, particular and implementation has to be very very uh, specific we need to take care of that aspect because a uniform standard can never be possible so far as our standard of class and uh, class and caste are concerned and we are already distributed so far as class and caste are concerned added to that you know uh, i think i should also ask you you know many you know students are very much interested to have their education say in australia in us you know in different places like in uk do you think the new educational policy to some extent uh, will uh, bridge that gap and they'll be interested uh, to have their education in india because you know we are, we'll be following uh, the educational norms of the west so do you think the brain drain to some extent will be minimized what is your take on that see we can say that by inviting or by welcome, uh, welcoming this foreign education system to India, we are opening a door for our students. Mm -hmm. But even today, many of our students are going outside and pursuing their education. Just like for example, from Ukraine, so many students, medical students have been rescued and they are providing uh, medical education. Uh, in India, yeah. this, this, this is a burning example, current example we are uh, taking care of. This aspect was there, but NEP is taking care of making available this foreign education system to our uh, normal common people. That is the reason NEP is, uh, I think that is the, uh, that is what NEP is planning to do. So, right. here also it is not a question of brain drain. I think we can in that by making this we can we can we, we have a platform so that we because we do not know it is human brain. Human uh, actions are never predictable. It right. is unpredictable. So, in what extent a student is thinking to do whether to uh, get that education here at Delhi or Mumbai or Madras or for that matter Bhubaneswar or to going to uh, going to Singapore or Canada and pursuing right. because this also matters the 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 the, the, the excess of their parents yeah. the, yeah, it uh, depends the on their mindsets also yes. yeah mindsets yes. also yes. Is very important yes. thing yes. now one little thing again I would like to ask you is you know you will definitely appreciate is do you think the new education policy is uh, contributing towards skill learning and uh, better job opportunities? Do you feel that? Yes, because in higher education, because I am into, uh, I am from Delhi University and we are right now, we are restructuring our uh, uh, documents right now. It was earlier also there, we have access of skill enhancement courses. We have also vocational because uh, common learning systems NSS and NCC are being promoted. We are also promoting skills in every uh, stream in commerce by accounting and other policies. In philosophy for example, I am a teacher of philosophy and we are promoting how to get uh, skill oriented courses for the, uh, definitely sometimes it is a question mark that how philosophy can promote a skill uh, enhancement course. What kind of skill a philosophy person can uh, yeah, promote? Right. Here critical thinking is the skill which is required for every student whether from science or our, uh, humanity or commerce unless and until one do critical one think critically he cannot get he cannot explore the entire world so critical thinking is one of yes. the best uh, skill we need to minimize those tools we need to and you are laying a lot of emphasis yes. on that yes. you are laying a lot of emphasis critical on thinking that. see film and uh, art and film appreciation because people are glamorous uh, today's students are more attractive towards glamour world. Mm -hmm. So, film movie is a media right. where 
by promoting different kind of theme oriented movies, yeah. we can send our message, we can send message, we can analyze those themes and we can inculcate the theme. So, the critical message. appreciation what you are yes. telling is very important. Very important days. for every student. So, skill is like now, this. Since you are a professor yes. in the Delhi University, what would you be the message you know for the young viewers of our channel? See, sir, before being a professor, before being an educator, I am an Odia. And what kind of Odia? I am an Odia. I am from a middle class family. I have pursued my education from a small Odia medium school. And now I am established in one of the premium institute, Delhi University. So my message would be, I have gone through the entire uh, national yes, education policy. So, my message will be <coughs> that see every policy or every document has its ifs and buts, but it has its agenda as well which is optimistic, which is very positive, very encouraging. So, just ignore the negativity and focus on the positivity. Number two, I would say that you go by your needs, needs vary person to person. Every individual has its different uh, needs. So, you focus what you desire, what you want in life because this policy also give a exposure to life education. So, you first focus on what you desire for your life to be successful. So, in this case I can say try to extract the maximum from what you are getting by investing the minimum from your side. And also I will say try to be a real human being because it is human making education is being uh, promoted here not a money making education because by making money you can, you are going to spoil your present and once you are spoiling your present means you are adding stress and welcoming ill health. Ill health means mental as well as physical ailment which should be ignored. So, I would say that try to be a human being which is available in this policy very nicely, very focusedly it is available, it is a human making education policy. So, so what sir, you are telling actually your focus what I understand is uh, you should try to explore what is desired by you and what is desirable by you. Uh, you see these two words are very very important I think uh, they will definitely create some impact particularly on our you know uh, young viewers today. So, Darsakabandhu bahut bahut dhanabad. आज आप जो आलोचन आप साथी रही कि शुणिले आश्चित भाव में आपण मान अत्यंत भल लगी मैडम को बहुत धन्यवाद दूची जे से बहुमूल्य समय बाहर करू आसिक आम गहन आम स्टूडियो आसिक आम साथ आलोचना कले बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद थैंक यू सो मच सर थैंक यू सो मच बै इनभैट मी एंड मेकिंग मी सो प्रेज बै बिंग हिय थैंक यू सो मच